brain quake cities off the cliff down deep sea into mountain continental ship the continent could drown the rip there's more think now you don't know what i'm into where i'm at it's all in the mental smack all instrumental around me it's all about my circle squared up on my nature fear not love bring me am i i didn't make her she made me to create her world the home she in shape her skin contain a frame no mana she a major with an angel and grew up educated on the demons baby scaly wings ranger people bullshit the mother you for that got nothing to fact negro black colored on the chopping block still on the block chopping whatever they want rob recover the chopping try to disrespect the master teacher some words to take it in hear me speaking out your air holes how can you retain a quote stop your brains bang shot but still you won't crow command is she Respect the master teacher, Islam. Just with the title alone, Freemasonry, Prince Hall, the master teacher, Steve Coakley, who dedicated his life to uncovering, peeling back the 
Prince Hall, the secret societies. This man dedicated his life. He always said he was missing teeth, no money, no house, no none of that. And for people to come along now, like the, the master teacher, Steve Coakley transitioned in 2012. For people to come out 10 years later, Professor Smalls, you was around when Steve Coakley was around. Why you wasn't saying this stuff when Steve Coakley was around 10 years plus ago? Why, why wasn't this title made 10 years ago? The secret relationship between Prince Hall and Freemasonry or whatever. Steve Coakley dedicated his entire life to this information. And he always, he said it too. Once we start that, oh, the boule isn't who we saying they are. They aren't that bad. We're right back to the beginning again. Because Steve Coakley already showed you in 93, 92, 94, 95 years ago, 30, almost 30 plus years ago, that all of that stuff was the destruction of our people. Now, I have to do this disclaimer for the master teacher, Steve Coakley, because there's another video where he was mad at the crowd because nobody stood up for the master teacher, Steve Coakley, when somebody else was talking that, oh, we don't know if that information is correct about the boule or whatever, knowing that Steve Coakley already had put out the information. So Steve Coakley cuts the whole crowd out because nobody stood up for him. So now I can't, even though the master teacher transitioned, I can't let that go on. So I have to say something because I don't agree with none of this stuff that uh, James Small is putting out here who the Boule and the Prince Hall and the Sigma Phi Kappa Dappa guys are. Those organizations are for the endangerment of our people. So that's my disclaimer. Uh, Islam to the master teacher, Steve Coakley. You know, I give thanks to him. Islam. Seen him in the comment. Uh, while I was promoting this, look forward to this video. And it was like, that's what's up. It was like, they, they happy that a brother like you was coming out speaking out. Um, just to tell the people, like we said in the beginning of the last show, uh, the, the, the idea on the internet is that all Masons are sellouts. They're part of the Illuminati. And that they pledge an oath to hold the rest of the black community down by withholding information with us and working with their masters, their rulers, their overseers. That's our perception on the internet when you read up on Black Masonry. Uh, that's the pretty much perception. So I, I've met, like I said, the brother A.A. Rashid is in the craft and a lot. I know a lot of brothers personally, and they're great brothers, but I'm not saying all the brothers is great, but um, yeah, I'm getting to talk to you. That nothing that's being done. We're talking yeah. about an institution. What is the institution designed to do and capable of? Yes. You have the courage to join the institution and steer it in the right direction. Standing on the side, of, talking about an institution. What is the institution designed to do and capable of? Yes. You have the courage to join. Now, what is the institution and what is it capable of? Love? Steve Coakley made a video. Now, you can go on Brother Hannibal's channel on YouTube. The brother's name is Brother, um, title is Brother Hannibal. If you go on his channel on YouTube, he has a video on there with Steve Coakley telling you that the boule brung him downstairs and gave him a special talk where they have people like him underground who are saying the stuff that they're saying like Steve Coakley, but they want Steve Coakley to join the boule underground. Steve Coakley started asking them well, why don't y'all stand up for your boule brothers when they're killed and murdered? Like when Bill Cosby's father and son was murdered, none of you boule members stepped up and did anything. When um, 
uh, Martin Luther King was murdered. None of y'all, Jesse Jackson's still walking around here like it's all good. None of you Boulay members did anything. So Steve Coakley, he brought that up to them and, you know, they didn't have any response from him. So he continued stomping on these Boulay people. So for him to say, to try to make it seem like the people are cowards for not joining the organization, that's not what, that's not what this is about. The, it's not being coward to join the organization. Steve Coakley told you those organizations are horrible for our people. The institution that's steering in the right direction. Standing on the sideline while the building is burning and criticizing a guy that got a hose that's too small ain't fighting the fire. Okay. So let's look at the boule, right? <clears throat> it was founded on May 15th, 1904. Mm -hmm. And its proper name is Sigma Pi Phi. Mm -hmm. Sigma Pi Phi. So you'll write that down and look it up. Sigma S I G M A Pi P I by P H I. And then when you look up these words, Sigma Pi, Pi is is a cold word for the round table. Round table goes right back to Cecil Rhodes. With the circle within the circle, Cecil Rhodes, William T. Steeds, and Lord Escher, who created this British imperialist continuation of the New World Order that everybody keeps talking about. These is their minions. The Boule, uh, what is they called? The Boule, um, the, the guards, like the, um, Steve Coakley talked about it. What's the name of them? slips my head the gargoyles or whatever the griffins they're the, they're the main guards of the circle within the circle they continue to let the modern european dominate you're trying to act like this stuff ain't real man signified by paternity also known as the boule which is a greek which is an ancient greece word that means council of chiefs okay it's, and it's the oldest continuous existing greek latin Postgraduate paternity, originally founded by and primarily for eminent black professional men, and later uh, a, a Greek fraternity, a Greek fraternity, not a Kemet, not an Egyptian, not a of original people fraternity, a Greek fraternity. And this is for the this I don't I can't comprehend how something that has nothing to do with our people can be for the betterment of our people. How how can this man sit up here and try to be like old oh, Boule and Prince Hall was for our people, but it doesn't even have anything to do with our people from its title. Like you can't. That's that crisscross that uh Steve Coakley always talking about. That crisscross, that four tongue. You, you you guys is just saying, you know, when Jesse Jackson was asked about the CFR, he said, I I never been to a meeting, but I spoke at some. That's that that's that crisscross, that four tongue. You, you guys just be saying, come on, man, this boule stuff is horrible. The profession for men of Africa, people in Africa and in the Caribbean is a part of Sigma Phi Phi. And this was designed for the black folks after and if you're looking at 1904, right? The Civil War is over. <clears throat> We've gone through Reconstruction and been betrayed. So we enter the 19th century, and black people are trying to organize. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. themselves. He's playing y'all. He's trying to religion. play y'all. They conspired and got together between 1865 and. Uh, 1929, when the stock market crashed, they opened 75 black insurance companies. None of, none, none, of, none, of, none of it. None of those companies started off with more with our people's notes. All of those was backed by Europeans. Every organization from its inception that they say that was supposed to help our people started with modern Europeans. I don't care if it was the Urban League, 
NAA, NAA, seek whatever they are, the Kappa Dappa Flappers, the the Prince, Prince Hall, that wasn't even full uh our people. He was a half a, a hybrid. All, all of this, man, it's not that has nothing to do with y'all. And y'all still want to push it. Nothing to do with you. This man's coming up and yo, and this is my thing. Y'all did all of this after Steve Coakley gone. Y'all know Steve Coakley would be on your neck. Y'all know Steve Coakley would be on. That's why I can't let it slide. Because the master teacher said, none of y'all going to say, don't let 10 years pass by and he die and somebody say something about him and you didn't say nothing. I can't let that happen. I can't let a day go by, 24 hours go by, and this get off my brain. I This will not, I can't. I watched Steve Coakley all day. I watched that man all day. I went and bought all them books, The Making of the Negro in America, The the Aristocrats of Color, The the uh from Carl Carl Quigley, the British American established Anglo American establishment from Carl Quigley. I bought all of them that Steve Coakley was talking about, and for him to come up here and try to act like that boule and that Prince Hall and all that capital fraternity stuff ain't against our people. That's that's a total disrespect to Steve Coakley. Like, the brother has to be turning in his grave right now. This is crazy that what's going on right now. And, and I'm, I'm even mad at the host for even hosting this. You know Steve Coakley already covered all of this boule stuff. Banks and over a thousand black schools and a couple of thousand black credit unions, which was able to allow black people... Every one of them, them Negro schools was sponsored by... Europeans, every one of them, every one of them, every one of them, every one of them, no, none of them was started by our people. Every one, he gonna sit up there and be proud and act like our people put them schools together. You Negroes didn't put none of them books together, none of them schools together, not one, not one, not one. You fake aristocrats, stomp the yard, kappa dapple flappers. Y'all never started nothing. All y'all do is sell out our people. That's it. That's it. And reap the benefits. Coming up here, lying. Steve Coakley gone. And now y'all want to come up here and make these dumbass shows. Come on, man. I'm going, yo, like Brother Kush said, you're going to get cooked, man. You're going to get cooked. Go to any white bank to get anything. To borrow the money, to buy the land, to build their homes, to open their businesses, etc., etc., etc. Study African. Them colleges was built off of land grants that started from Yale and was built off of skull and bones. Look it up. Howard University built off of land grants started from Yale. Skull and bones. Like. In the boule, in their book, in their history of the boule, it states in their history book that they made the boule off the tenets of skull and bones. It's saying in their history book, look it up. Look it up. Over here, lying. 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 American history. Are they corrupt people? They're going to be corrupt people in any institution. It was corrupt from its inception. Talking about the human character and character building. And that's where Freemasonry came in. And I don't know the white Freemasons. I've been studying about them, but I ain't been in their lives because they were my enemy. The white Freemasons were the Ku Klux Klan, but the black Freemasons were not the Ku Klux Klan. They were not going under Pope and the other boys. See? That's another slap in the face to Steve Coakley. Steve Coakley always said that the Ku Klux Klan was a playground group. They ain't nobody. They broke. If you want to find out who really the secret societies was, we all know, follow the money. These Ku Klux Klan broke redneck Southerners didn't have no, no damn money. It's Cecil Rhodes. 
W.T. Steeds, Lord Escher. The Lord Escher was the front man for Queen Victoria. He worked for King George V. Like, y'all better go look up who these people are. The, William T. Steeds, who was the second front man to Cecil Rose during the Round Table Group, he rewrote the history of the world. Look up William T. Steed. Fucking KKK. They ain't, that ain't nobody. That ain't, no, that ain't nobody. William T. Steed. Who, who y'all... Okay, let's do this. The, um, all of them. Um, Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie was the one who was um, fronting the Tuskegee Institute. Um, Booker T. Washington was fronted by Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie worked for Cecil Rhodes. He went, you know, KKK, that's a slap in the face to the elder. Steve Coakley, that's a slap in the face for him. Because Steve Coakley said, KKK ain't got nothing on Cecil Rhodes, William T. Steeds, and Lord Escher. Down in Mississippi and Arkansas and Alabama. Black Freemasons, he built the first free school in Prince Hall living room for black children in Boston, Massachusetts in the 1770s. You know, the people who founded the AME Church were black Prince Hall Masons, Absalom Jones and Richard Allen. The brother who wrote David Walker's appeal and was talking how to take out the enslavers was a Prince Hall Mason. Okay. The man you call Malcolm X has rose to the level of the 32nd degree in Prince Hall Mason. Mm. The man you call Martin Luther King was a Prince Hall Mason. Most of the men and women that you saw taking the lead in the fight for freedom, not just in that part of the movement that was called the Civil Rights Movement, which was a glorious battle in the South, but the men and the women in the North, the Midwest, and the West, 90% of them were Prince Hall Masons, fighting in the labor unions, fighting in the train to organize uh, the Pullman Porters. Now, see, this was the thing. In the book, in the making of the Negro in America, right? They tell you it was two types, how, how it started. It was our people back in the 1800s they knew um, they circumstances. They knew that if they was going to fight for the United States or they, was, they wasn't going to fight for the United States. Um, what's the dude's name? Um, Elaine Lott, Kelly Miller. These people were the ones that were influencing our people to join these uh go to the war type of crap stuff uh become good englishmen um speak clear english get a good education get it was these people who was and it was all boule prince hall sigma kappa dappa flappa people that was telling you to join these organizations it wasn't just oh these people were all no 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 and steve coakley did say it was some good oath takers it was some good oath takers but the but you already know one bad apple ruins it for all of them the majority of them the majority of them are here to keep our people in servitude that's their job that's their job because if they don't do it they disappear them or they're going to lose their finance Fighting in the railroad, fighting to organize the municipal union. Those were the Prince Hall Mason. What okay. the white Masons was doing? Let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. I got you right now. I got you right now. Appreciate you, brother. There he is. Oh, yeah, that's great. Which one of these rooms? Do you know CIA got a program just for historically black colleges? For professors, administrators, and students. That's all they do. In fact, right down there on that table is the CIA stuff we took off of Florida a and which is one of the top military intelligence schools in this country. Okay. Florida A&M. 
or all so-called black school is one of the top CIA schools in the so-called country. How how is that? How 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 is the all so-called black school, Florida AM, one of the top CIA schools in the so-called country? How are y'all doing that? How y'all do that? How y'all do that? This remember this made in the 90s. This video made in the 90s. Y'all made this corny video, Gene Smalls and so-called black magic guy. Y'all made that whack video almost 30 years after Steve Coakley dedicated his entire life to decoding this buffoonery. And then y'all gonna go up there and really make that video. Look at this. Florida and m one of the top so-called all black schools for CIA agents. That's what they make. That's what they make. One of the things we know about what the opposition depends upon is those Hustable children rising up and absorbing the values of America. So we penetrated them Hustable campuses. Only two that got away is Morgan and Howard. But Florida a and North Carolina Central, mm. North Carolina A&T, mm. Howard Spellman, Atlanta U, Morris Brown, and Clark, I'll walk you around this country. We have broken in half the reinforcements for white America. CIA is most well received on the black campuses. You heard it. <laughs> but what are these? We have broken in half the reinforcements for white America. CIA is most well received on the black campuses. Why is that? Yo, how, how are we not questioning that? Small's gonna come up here and say, oh, they do Boule and Sigma Kappa do this for the black people. Steve just told you CIA is very welcomed on so-called black campuses. Okay? Okay? But Smalls is gonna go up there and tell y'all after Steve Coakley transitioned, they wouldn't y'all think they would say this when Steve when Steve Coakley wasn't around? You think they would talk like this if Steve Coakley was still alive? Y'all, because they know Steve Coakley would run up on them. Steve Coakley said in his lecture, they know Steve Coakley was good with that, good with the information, and he would come tap you on that ass. Y'all come talking crazy. One of these rooms is the historically black college room. Maybe it's that one. Maybe this is Baltimore. Maybe that's Washington. And I was telling my man, I said, you know what, day we gonna get in there. He said, man, that shit is impossible. Next thing you know, that damn movie came out. Dun, 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 dun. What was the damn movie about? Thank you. Thank you. Going in the facility to get some information. Yeah. So if it can be perceived, it can be achieved, no question. But it's one of those rooms. Is CIA higher than FBI? That's an important question. Because mm. when you raise coin and tell pro, you got to know, is CIA higher than FBI? Is National Security Council higher than CIA? You got to know the ranking of the intelligence. Why, why isn't fact, they talking about this stuff? really know that it's really, it ain't no one or the other. That's possible. But the bottom line is, that is all a community. Mm. They all are together. They make the intelligence community. The Defense Department, the State Department, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force Intelligence, the Energy Department, National Force and Intelligence Board, the Intelligence Community Executive Committee. What is their role in Coin and Tell Pro? Or was they working some shit higher than that? So you need to look at the axis of intelligence. They say, hey, two trucks are missing, got military shit on it. So they turn to the satellites and cut off the credit cards. So you may have an FBI investigation using the central imagery office for information. And now remember, now look, 
when Martin Luther King was assassinated, the dude that was giving him CPR, he became CIA. Um, the Pullman Portis, fighting in the railroad, fighting the organized municipal union. Those were the Prince Hall Mason. What the white Masons was doing in most cases is fighting against them. So I'm not talking about white masonry. So don't try to identify me with the history of white masonry and their false notion of supremacy and their racism and inferiority complex. Talk to me about the black men who wore the banner of the Free African Lodge. And let me tell you something about masonry so you understand. Masonry is a okay. Thing. Like I was saying earlier, he said, talk to him about the so-called black men at the African Lodge, whatever that is. Like I was saying, Steve Copley got to talk behind closed door. Why don't y'all step up when y'all own get murdered? When your own Martin Luther King was murdered, like you just said, okay, well, if L. Hodge, Malcolm X was one of, was a 32nd degree Mason, he was murdered. Why y'all ain't do nothing? Y'all didn't do anything when he was murdered. He was murdered in front of his children and y'all didn't do anything. Martin Luther King, he was murdered. Y'all didn't do anything. Bill Cosby, his father and son, murdered. Y'all didn't do anything. He boule. All, all these boule people who was murdered, who either so-called tried, maybe try to do something for their for our people, murdered. None of you people did anything to come out and oh well let's go and revenge our boule brother. Our Sigma Phi Kappa brother, y'all don't do none. Y'all don't do any of that. Y'all, y'all will go around and harm people who call y'all out on y'all BS. Y'all will harm them, but you won't go harm those those who are making you keep your people in servitude. You won't go do anything to them. You won't go call out Cecil Rhodes, Rupert Murdoch. You won't go call out Murdoch. Who's controlling all of this right now? Y'all won't say a word to him. Y'all won't say, like Steve said, name the names. Y'all won't say no names. Y'all just sit there and keep the whole oh, Illuminati, the Prince Hall. Say the names. Say them. Say the names. Say who it is, so the people can know who really selling them out. Stop saying these uh so-called ghost titles. I don't know who that is, man. It's Rupert Murdoch, Bill Gates and them, the so-called Red Shields, Rothschilds and them. Them. Y'all over here playing games, doing secret relationships between Prince Hall. Steve Copley already did this stuff at night. It's disrespectful. That's why I have to do this video because it's, it's very disrespectful to the master teacher, Steve Copley, who dedicated his entire life to this and for this man to come up here and try to make it seem like the boule isn't what people are saying they are that's that's just a slap in the face to steve copley and to the people to the people who already know you know even when you scroll through black magic 363's um comments his his most um check like comment was somebody wrote um steve copley already talked about the boule the thing has like 25 likes. And so people, it's, this video is a slap in the face just to the people alone. This is crazy. It, that's why I'd be like, you got to watch these people. You got you to really watch them. You got they. This video should not have been made. It should just be repeats like Brother Hannibal keeps putting up repeats of old videos of Steve Coakley. Okay. That was given birth to in Africa, even before Kemet, Egypt, came into existence. Now listen, listen. Let me tell you that again. Masonry is a body of knowledge of how to build a man. Not a boy, not a slave, not a collaborator, not a gangbanger who shoots up his own people. See, that's the crisscross again. Huh. Huh. <laughs> that's that crisscross. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with 
um, the how Morris would break down a Mason and what Mason masonry is supposed to be applied to, like Muslim son or mama's son. Yeah, but this little fraternity games that y'all are playing, these little oh, I'ma keep the I'ma keep the goods for myself and for, and shit on my people. The games y'all play, that's not masonry. The more science to masonry, yes, I I comprehend that. But what y'all doing is wrong. Having parties, sleeping with different women, having orgies, yeah, that's ain't this ain't this ain't science. Y'all y'all having a good time. Y'all living the life on the backs of your people still staying enslaved, still saying stupid. Still, just so y'all can reap the benefits, ride around in your luxury conveyances, go shopping and stuff like that. And then y'all get y'all little kickbacks, your 501c3s, your I don't got to pay taxes crap while everybody else still out here hurting. Y'all reaping the benefits. Or rationalize selling drugs to people. No. Freemasonry was to build men who took responsibility for building black families, and then took responsibility for building black neighborhoods, then took responsibility for building black communities, then took responsibility for building black institutions to run them. Now, have we been beaten down in the last few years? Yeah. You lose battles when you're at war. We've been at war for 500 years in this country. Yeah, cause I, and I ain't seen one good... History, so we want Hold on, this motherfucker... Yo, he just said, built our communities show me one of our communities that's good i would like to see one i ain't never seen our communities thriving i would i would like to see that where the where our communities is thriving and, and there ain't no liquor stores and churches and everything this this don't exist when, when did this happen when was this happening when was this happening you boule members go live on the hills with those modern europeans y'all don't let y'all don't Y'all don't come into the hood and fix up the hood, so-called hoods. Y'all don't come and donate and give to our, give to the people. You can't, because if you do, you're going to lose the finance. They're not going to give y'all y'all grants. If y'all start waking up, giving finance to the people, fixing up the neighborhoods, those institutions, Andrew Carnegie, the Bill Gates, when he gave the largest, uh, what was it, the largest grant? to a HBU school, I think he gave it to Howard University, who their president at Howard University is a Rhodes Scholar. Y'all gotta look that up. Cecil Rhodes put in his trust for Oxford University to have scholarships for Rhodes Scholars to keep on pushing the British imperialists. The president of Black Power, she's a Rhodes Scholar. You guys got to really know what's going on. They playing us. They playing us good. They they playing good. And, and these people coming up. You know, Steve Co um, Steve Coakley. James Small got a movie coming out that he helped produce. He working. He working hard. And it's black, 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 black all through there. You know he, he's about to do everything. They got to keep that funding coming. And like your, brother, your boy Sabir said, you don't make money being a more. In this country. These people is ready to study you out. History, so we won a lot of those battles. It was a time the only competent you could see in your community was a black man and his chances are hundred percent of his Prince Hall. There was a time when the only electrician you could see in your community, the only doctor you could see in your community was a black one. The only lawyer was a black one. And I guarantee you hundred percent of them was Prince Hall Mason. You should, you should be inappropriate for study your history. Don't confuse what white folks is doing with a label and what we did with it. Yeah, this, we built the black community. He's dissing Steve Coakley. Every time he plays that, oh, don't try to do say what the white people is doing and put it in the black community. He's, he's dissing Steve Coakley. You're dissing Steve Coakley. That's just a straight slap in the face. The man dedicated his life. He already proved it to us. He showed us everything. He said, watch you links. 
those that links woman organization. What's the uh, so-called vice president's name again? I don't even keep up with these people. She's a link. She's a, she's down with the links organization. These people is all these kappa dappa flappers. They playing y'all. They they playing y'all good, man. They playing y'all good. Those men who walk with Dr. King and those women who walk with Dr. King, who was Eastern stars and Prince Hall Masons that gave you the civil rights. And right killed King and helped assassinate King. And the free housing bill of 1967. Those were Masons. Make no bones about it. I'm not going to be a coward. Mm. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I remember when I joined, one of the brothers said to me, he said, uh, now, small, we know who you are. You can't come up out there and, and, and give up the secret. And I said, well, I don't know what secret you got that the rest of the world ain't using against us. Okay? But the process that people are getting confused about is you don't give a baby rice and steak to eat. He Yo, shut the fuck up. Yo, I'm so tired of that. <laughs> out there and, and, and give up the secret. And I said, well, I yo, yo. When I joined, one of the brothers said to Don't me, you fall for this. Small, we know who you are. I'm not going to be a coward. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I remember when I joined, one of the brothers said to me, he said, uh, now, Small, we know who you are. You can't come up out there and, 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 and give up the secret. And I said, well, I don't know what secret you got that the rest of the world ain't using against us. You know what that mean? He going to keep the secret. That's what that meant. That you know what that means? That means he's gonna keep the secret. When when he said that, I'm gonna say it again. That meant he was gonna keep the secret. That's what it means. Okay. You can't come up out there and, and, and give up the secret. And I said, well, I don't know what secret you got that the rest of the world ain't using against us. Look at that. Okay. But the process that people are getting confused. You know how they be like, yo. Uh, yo, we're going to go rob the bank, but you can't say nothing. And they be like, rob what? Exactly. That's what that's what he just did. We're going to go rob the bank, but you can't say nothing. Rob what? Exactly. You don't know. You supposed to act like you don't even know what happened. He told you what was going to happen, but we're going to act like we don't know what happened. He just pulled, he just, that's what he's pulling off right now. This is crazy. It's about, is you don't give a baby rice and steak to eat. He eats pablum and drink milk until he gets some. Brother, I see it taught us we was able to do quantum physics when we was two years old. We're just dumbed down now. My son, my son got this information. Well, this too. You know, the boule, the sellouts, his nationality. My son been on that information since he was five, six years old. He he he's 14 now. All he know is more. You know, all he know is birthright, nationality. He don't know the the games that they playing. He he don't he don't know these games. He don't he don't even know these games. So and that's the thing too. And it makes me upset. I'm like, yo, I gotta protect my son. From the from this, he gonna come up here and say, "Well, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all the truth." And you know, it's an old trick I learned. As soon as they tell you that, I'm yo, I'm gonna tell you the truth, and they start adjusting their stuff and start laughing. That's when you gotta start watching them. My sister told me, "Don't trust nobody who over 40. <laughs> so I already got antennas up. As soon as the elder starts speaking, especially if you in one of them organizations. Because you've been around too long, you've been you you know how to mold and lie and con, and connive the people, that, and that's what and that's what he's been doing. That's what that's what he's been doing. Keith, and he can chew some hotter food, and then you give him a different kind of food, and then he gets stronger, and then you can give him the steak. Our problem is. We want to get to third base without going to first and second base. No, I'm tired, of, I'm tired of that excuse. Not getting up to the plate and taking the responsibility of hitting the ball. 
These people, these, these elders is about to come and go. They about to come in their prime and about to die. And still talking to you about, oh, you can't give a baby state. Brother, you've been doing this shit for almost 100 years. When the, the baby got to be grown now. Got to be grown. When, when the baby going to get big? Y'all, it, that ain't no diaper on that baby no more. Those is depends. What, what, what's going on? And if you don't get up to that plate before you get up to that plate, you got to go to somebody and get some training. You got to get some knowledge on how to be a batter. You got to get some knowledge on how to run the bases. You understand? And that's what masonry is about. You have the first degree, the second degree, the third degree, and it goes to the 33rd degree. Each of those things called degrees is a body of knowledge <laughs> on how to develop your character in your mind, how to have an understanding of things economic, political, and culturally in the society you live in, and how to use it to develop your community. You playing games. And we're not doing the best job of it right now. James, we need you never did since 1904. Since 1904, when the boule came around, it never was, and it was sponsored by those three men who I keep saying, Cecil Rose, Lord Escher, William T. Steeds. They was the sponsor, the people who sponsored all of y'all up and coming, whatever stuff y'all had. NCAA, NC, I don't even know their NCAA, NCAA, N, NAACP, Urban League, um, the AME, the African Methodist Episcopal, whatever, that was sponsored by the the first modern European aristocrats. These 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 Moors ain't never. Where y'all get the? Where, where y'all? Where you? Where y'all Negroes get money from? Where y'all get money from? Where y'all get money from? I would like to know that. I would like to know that. Y'all ain't that never. Steve Cookie said it the best. There has never been an organization that started by our people that was just sponsored by our people in full. Never. Never in the history of our people. Never. Who call themselves Negro colored black. I'm going to learn this stuff. And use it the way they want to use it for the best interest of the community. But many of the men that are in offices now, they're good black men. Who? And good black women. I Who? know many of them. Who? You know, but they're few. In America, we nearly 40 million people. We got a couple of hundred thousands who are Mason. Maybe up to a million. I think they said it's one million of us. But where do we? Learn to understand how to use a tool. See, you're going through some rituals. And a lot of the things I'm talking about, you can actually find them in books. I don't know why people run around saying they got this false notion. You can buy a book on all of the Masonic rituals and know exactly what they are in the bookstore for decades. Yo, what are you talking about? No Yo, secret. see, we're not talking about no rituals. We're not talking about none of that. we talking about you as a man helping the other side who was keeping our people enslaved on our own ancestral estate. That's what we talking about. I don't care about no rituals. I don't care about no Abba Dabba Kaba. None of that. What I care about is you as a man coming up here lying like Steve Coakley hasn't put all of this on blast already. He already has proved this. Like, that's why I'm going. Cause I like, if I try, Transition, I want somebody to go as hard for me. Like Brother Yusuf went hard for us as Moors. That's why I'm doing this for Brother Steve Coakley. Like that man dedicated his entire life to prove to us that you Boule Prince Hall Masons, Sigma Phi Kappa, all of you don't are nothing but here to keep our people docile that's your job that's it that he dedicated his entire life he was almost murdered they shot at him and his mother him his mother and his children after doing the lecture they going to leave the airport going down 
to get in the conveyance, they leaving, and some Negroes pull up and shoot up the conveyance while he's about to go leave. He had an assassination attempt in Pittsburgh by you Boule members, man. And that's crazy because that's the same place that me and the Grand Sheik went and they treated us like shit when we went to the temple. Something's wrong in so-called Pittsburgh. You sellouts out there is going crazy. And again, it's our own. This ain't we ain't talking about no modern Europeans yet in the aspect of who's selling us out. We just talking about they just put up the finance. Y'all do the work. Y'all the ones that make art. You know, I went to the Urban League as a child thinking, you know, my mom signed me up, go to the Boys and Girls Club. You know, we call it on Acorn Street. Like we all went there. That's what we do, but grow, now I'm grown, and I realize that the Urban League and the, all of them organizations were set up by modern Europeans for spy centers, ETC. Not, none of this was for the embedment of our people. And then you're going to go up there and try to, oh, you can get the rituals at the store, and you can see that the rituals is... But there ain't nobody talking about no rituals. Nobody, we don't care about no rituals. We talking about the physical and what y'all really doing. Y'all getting grants. And the only reason why you can get grants is because you Negro, black, and colored. If you got a nationality, you're not getting no grant. You got to sell. And that's what, and that's the thing. So when Moors come around and start talking about our nationality, they lose their grants. And remember, if some of these people is using the grants, the grant notes, and getting condos in Miami. These Negroes is living good. They living good. That's why they're going to continue to do the boule in the Prince Hall and the Sigma Kappa Flapper. Because they living good off of that. They live good off of that. They lo- And all their partying, their balls that they go to, they love, they, they love that. That's their little time and pride. Majority of them, nope. Ma- majority, they, some, and some of these Boule members that we don't even know about, uh, Sylvia Rones and stuff like that. She's an Eastern star or Daughters of Isis member. These people who are who, uh, who Murdoch's payroll selling out hard body, hard body. And, and then James Smalls is going to come up here and act like he, oh, you can get the rituals. I don't even know what you're talking about. First of all, uh, the dude who's doing the interview, he wants you to clarify that you guys work for the other side. James Small ain't say nothing about that yet. James, you ain't say nothing about it yet. We still waiting on you to reply to the fact that y'all work for the other side. You started talking about rituals and how y'all built black communities. Answer the question. You can go in there and see the same rights I go through for the first degree, the second degree, and the third degree. And I can show you the first degree back in ancient Egypt, second degree, and the third degree being practiced in ancient Egypt. So why it ain't called ancient Egypt? Why? 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 Why it ain't called? Why it ain't? Why it ain't called ancient Egypt? Why y'all use terms like boule and Greek fraternities? Why it ain't called ancient Egypt and Kemet? Since you know. Mason, we started there. Why, why y'all keep the Greek stuff? I want my question answered. Steve Coakley has been asking these questions since the 90s. I was eight years old in 93 when he did that lecture. I was eight. Y'all been selling out for a long time. A long time. Oh, and guess what it is? It's a replica of an Egyptian temple. So don't tell me it comes from England. England don't have no temples. So why y'all agree? Okay. Understand what the brothers and sisters were trying to do. Yes, the white man got over the knowledge. We gave him Christianity. That was our body of knowledge too. We gave him Islam. I tell me that know Allah came and blah blah blah. I was a Muslim Imam. I'm a Hajj. Al Hajj mean that Shahid. Before I walked away from because that ain't ours. Yes, a lot of us are in it. And a lot of us came over here as enslaved persons who were Muslims before we came. Oh, but guess what? We go. A lot of us came over as enslaved persons who were Christians before we came. 
Now, how are you going to explain that one? So let's study history. Remove the enemy's mystery. That boy dancing around that question. We want to know if you work for the other side. What are you talking about? You just coming up here saying a bunch of nothings about nothing. The brother Rich, that's his name, brother Rich. Brother Rich want to know what the question was in the in the in the chat. Y'all work for the other side. You ain't answering that question. Y'all y'all work for the other side. Y'all do everything it takes to keep that circle within the circle. British imperialism continuing on what they call the new world order. It's not, it's Brit. What Cecil Rose signed into his trust was British imperialism. I'm not going to keep saying that new world order, but I don't, I, that's just a, another thing with the Illuminati. I'm, a, I'm with my Steve Coakley. I'm with the name, the names. We're going to start saying who these people are. Because I, I found out when you start saying who these people are, stuff starts moving different. People start getting uncomfortable in their chairs when you start saying their names and their addresses. Steve Coakley was up here saying people's names, their places of work, their home addresses. This, then stuff started getting changed. Let's study history. Remove the enemy's mystery and see how to use these tools to rebuild the consciousness in our community, to rebuild the communities that we live in, to create a safe zone for our babies, okay? to create a safe zone for our women, so that they can be welcoming you back home and not be running scared every time you walk out the door. Man, they've been talking this. They've been talking. How long they been talking that talk? They've been talking that same talk for how long now, man? How long they been saying that same line? They been saying that same line for so long now. It is crazy. I'm tired of hearing that. We need to do stuff. Keep our women and children safe. Y'all ain't never did that. Y'all ain't never did that. Never. Ain't no boule organization. Y'all don't even keep yourselves safe. Bill Cosby's son and father was murdered. And y'all did nothing. And Martin Luther King, Boule, murdered. Y'all did nothing. Nothing. Your boys be getting murdered. Your Boule brothers, who you took an oath with, did your little Kappa Dappa dances with, were murdered. And some of you helped them get murdered. For who? Who Who? Who y'all murdering these people for? Somebody switched up and didn't keep up with the same story. And then now your masters sent you to come murder your own boule brother now. Your own fraternity brother now. And they would do that. You guys, they're taking all of these oaths. Doing all of these disrespectful hazings to each other. And then just to come up and get murdered by your own brother later on. You guys are fools. That's what this thing is all about. And I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. You go in and you, put, you go to simulations, right? Where they show you being killed, hit three times in the stomach, in the throat, and in the head. Jubilee, jubilum, and jubilee, they call it. And you can see this in the book. I'm not giving out no secrets. You can buy books on, online and, and get all this information. And what they're simulating is how someone who has the knowledge of how to build an appropriate community, an appropriate human body. This is the temple, not no building made of stone. This is the temple you're trying to build, okay? And so the mass builder knows how to develop the human character, develop the human personality, get rid of the ego, get rid of the envy, get rid of the jealousy, which leads to conflict, hatred, and death. Bring in knowledge. Bring in understanding of your environment. See? Learn wisdom from that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get anywhere because the jucking and jiving, the dancing around. It's the secret. The title was called the secret relationship between Prince Halls and Boulay. 
What he talking about right now? That's the thing. What he talking about right now? They disrespected the master teacher, Steve Coakley. 